Today we're going to feature the Miele 6595 SCVI, and this is a knock-to-open product. So basically, uh, the features on it are it, the door is 100% electronic. So you can either open it by pulling on the handle, or you can just simply knock to open. So the knock to open feature is great if you have cabinetry that's totally flush and you don't have any handles on it at all, uh, then you can just knock it and open it. Otherwise, when you open the door, you have your control panel that comes across the top with everything hidden. You have a power button that you're going to hit. The first thing that's going to come up is going to be all of your um, cycles that you have. So you can scroll through the cycles right over here and it'll go from um, a normal to pots and pans. It has crystal and china lights. So when we open the unit, the inside of the unit is actually has um, LEDs on the inside that illuminate. Um, your bottom rack, just like every meal of dishwasher, this dishwasher is the second dishwasher from the top of the line. The Diamond is going to be the most expensive model. Um, this comes down one step. Um, which means it has the knock to open features, it has all those wash cycles we just talked about, and the interior lights that are illuminated. Um, so that means all the racking system inside this unit is going to have features that, as you save money on the dishwasher, are going to be removed. So first off, you have a tremendous amount of different uh, racks that are going to hold different wine glasses. Um, Mila's big um, claim to fame is that their dishwashers, you can do any type of wine glasses in them without them damaging them. So to do that, they give you all types of different racks that are designed for every single wash, every single wine glass that um, you can find. So these are all in here. They fold back up when you're not doing wine glasses. Um, the other thing that you're going to see is the dish cradle. This is another patented product from Mila which means that your dishes all fit in a cradle. That means during the wash cycle, they're not going to hit each other like they do in most dishwashers, which causes chipping and scratching. The other thing that a Miele dishwasher has is because of their racking system, you can take a, a dish like this, okay? This is what's known as a wave plate, a very popular plate. The problem is it doesn't fit in anybody's dishwashers. It still will fit in a Miele dishwasher. That's very important because a lot of plates now are becoming extremely um, odd sized and it works great inside a Miele dishwasher. Okay. Another feature that Miele has is this is for a vase. So if you have a vase, you can set it on here. The vase will not fall down. When you don't want to use that, then it will just um, also fold and disappear. Anything that you see orange on a Miele dishwasher means that it actually does something. So like for instance, if you have pots and pans, you want to put a pot down there or a pan, you just fold those tines down, you're good to go. Same thing with your wine. These are, these are totally adjustable, so wherever you bring it to, it's going to stay in that spot, depending on the size wine glass you have. And also, if you don't like the dish cradle and you're going to just do, let's say you have two dishwashers in your house, and you can pull the dish cradle out and that would be totally flat down there. So, um, when we come up to the next, uh, your midsection, your midsection is totally adjustable. So if you have very big deep glasses, you can pull this button lower down and you can put taller glasses in it as well. Most people are going to keep it in the upright position because this is a tall tub machine, which allows you to put very big glasses in here already. But another thing that Mila does is you can actually put wine glasses up top. So again, you've got a lot more use for different wine glasses. These come in, they, it is adjustable into different spots depending on what you're doing. Um, you have a rack in here for small dishes. You have a coffee, um, they're very big into coffee cups in this upper rack, so they do a lot of things to hold coffee cups so it does not hold the water. You have a couple different shelves. You also have another rack that comes out here for other wine glasses, which is totally hidden when you're not using it. Same thing with these other pieces. If you don't want to use them and you have tall glasses, you just fold them back. Very user friendly. This is one of the best selling dishwashers in our um, in our store. Um, now your upper rack. This is what Meal is known for right here. They actually the best cutlery tray at the top. So first off, you notice everything's sitting in here nice and pretty. This is not a hard thing to do. A lot of times when people see this for the first time, they think, geez, it's going to take me forever to put my silverware in. It actually will not take you any more time, and we're going to demonstrate that in a minute. But this tray works, um, unlike most on the market, it does a couple things. So again, we have the orange. Orange for Mila means that it op actually operates. So now if you have 
big spoons or knives or something that you want to stick here. You just take this lever, you're going to push it bent down. It's going to drop this, this basket down so you can put deep items in it. You can still have your silverware in there. It's not going to impede that. Um, but as far as putting silverware in, you, know, you can do it a couple different ways. You know, you can just drop them in like we do here now. You know, people do even throw them in as well. But it's not something that takes a long time. But the real benefit is not the time it's going to take you to put the silverware in. It's going to be when you go later on and you want to put the silverware away. So the benefit is very simple. When these are clean, all you're going to do now is just pick them up at one time. You're going to have all of your knives that are going to go. They're going to be put away. So it's actually it's actually a lot more faster. But the real key to having the cutlery up here is the cutlery is not going to bang into each other. It has its own wash arm. So it has a wash arm located at the top that only washes the cutlery. It's filtered water because everything that runs through a dishwasher is actually filtered. So the benefit that you're going to get is you're never going to have food that's stuck onto your silverware. Most dishwashers, when the silverware is in the bottom, it usually gets stuck in that basket. You'll have food particles. It's very easy for those food particles to stick on there. When it goes through the drying cycle, it kind of bakes them on. With the Mila, that's not going to happen because it's running its own um, its own wash arm dedicated just for the cutlery. So that's uh, basically it. If you have any questions about the uh, meal of dishwasher, I'll be happy to answer those for you. Let's talk about the spray arms for a minute and just kind of show off the spray arms. What, um, you know, at the bottom, I know they have, they have a stainless steel spray arm and then they have plastic spray arms up above. Can we maybe take a look at the spray arm that uh, runs the, uh, the silverware spraying? If you pull that out, let me see if I can get a view of it. And then you can see the one in the middle. The one in the middle actually adjusts. So depending on where the middle basket is, you can see it's, it's spring-loaded. So if the basket was down, it will, it will lower down so that um, it has its own... Um, so when, when this closes, yeah. it locks in. Exactly. And then if you move the basket up or down, it's actually it's going to catch in the it. right place. Exactly. Now on the bottom, the bottom one is going to be a stainless one. Uh, the benefit to that is because if something, you drop a pan or something in your dishwasher, you don't want the, um, the plastic ones to break. They do use plastic. Everybody does pretty much on the middle and the top. The benefit of that is that it's not going to break your dishes if it, you know, because un unfortunately people do put dishes in and they don't like spin this arm, you know, before they start the dishwasher. So the, the fact that being plastic, it's just going to stop. But this one is in fact um, steel at the bottom. That also brings us to the filters, okay? You, let's say you break something in your dishwasher. That happens, you know, frequently sometimes to people. A, gla a wine glass breaks. Everything, the, wine, the, the, the glass particles would be right here. If something big falls, like a big piece of glass, it's going to fall inside this inner filter. So there's no way for any big particles to go inside the pump and plug the pump up. That happens, you know, consistently in a lot of other brands. Um, you're well, gonna, you're a lot gonna of cheaper find cheaper dishwashers don't exactly. have as good of filters. Exactly. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to see more appliance reviews and ratings, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at the link below. It would mean a lot to us.